Oh, ho, ho. this is a good one. So today I'd like to talk about no means no's 0 plus 2 equals 1. It is a favorite of mine. It isn't the most pronounced or well-known album in No Means No's discography, but it's such a long and distinguished catalog by a band that's been around so long, it's easy for gems to get lost by the wayside. It was the last album to feature Andy Kerr, the uh, guitarist, not the politician. Kerr left and formed his annual and joined show business giants. I might talk about the making of him some other time. It's good in its own way, but it's definitely no 0 plus 2 equals 1. This album is special for me personally. As a habit, when I find a band I like, I seek out their entire discography. I bought this album as part of that completionist tendency, and on the first few listens, I didn't really care for it. I thought the art was kind of dumb, I thought the art on the back was even dumber, and the songs all sounded slower and less, well, punk than I'd come to expect after cutting my teeth on albums like Sex Mad and Small Parts Isolated and Destroyed. But I held on to it for two reasons. A, because if I didn't have it, I couldn't say I had every No Means No studio album, and B, because who knows, maybe it'll grow on me. And you know what? I was right. I always got off on the wrong foot with this album because of the opening song, Now. It felt too simple for a No Means No song, too clean, too non-aggressive, but this was deceptive. No Means No is renowned for their technicality. You can find a lot of articles that credit them as the secret first math rock band. And the song is simple, but they play it so well and so proficiently, and once I internalized that they were bringing that skill to kicking the hell out of something simple, suddenly the song just blew me away. After that it was like I was listening to the album for the first time. Rob Wright's throbbing bass lines carry the album, just like every other No Means No release, while his brother John brings his jazz-rooted beats and keeps you banging your head. For his part, Andy Kerr brings the crunch he contributed to No Means No for the better part of a decade, and it's a blistering sweet send-off to his tenure. He always had an equal blend in the mix along with the Wright brothers, everyone getting to breathe and bring their A-game to any given track. It's just a joy to behold. A joyful reunion, if you will. Most fans will tell the uninitiated to start with No Means No's wrong album, and they're not, well, wrong, but if you want to hear No Means No's original lineup at their most polished, you wouldn't go amiss to check out 0 plus 2 equals 1. Hey everyone, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm gonna try and make more of these. Somehow, being in a plague takes up a lot of energy, so we'll see. Uh, if there's any albums you want me to talk about, leave a comment or something. If I don't own the album, I won't review it though, so good luck guessing albums that I have.